good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So we're coming up on week nine. And that being the case, I want to give you a quick overview of what to be expecting for this particular week. So we do have a midterm that is due, but some of you might not understand why it is we are doing the midterm. And that being the case, I've added a couple how to's in our modules. And in fact, I'm going to add it to week eight as well. Um, okay. So first of all, the midterm is going to be how we cite information that we gather into MLA format. But some of you might be concerned because you might not understand why are we jumping ahead when we haven't done research yet. But that being the case, I'm going to put in some links here and I want you to kind of go in line before you take the midterm to understand what it is I'm looking for. And so first is I have a video here that's going to walk you through the Butte Library and how you can find a scholarly journal. Source summary number one is going to be covering uh, scholarly journals first. So in other words, um, for the source summary, you're going to have three sources that you're going to talk about. And those three sources I want to be scholarly journals. OK, um, for now, this is just a rundown of what it's going to look like to go into the Butte Library and find some information. So go here first. OK, so I want you to go through here first. Um, that's going to take you pretty much to show you to go to the main page. And I have a link there. It's going to show you how you can get into the research databases and find articles. Um, and then it's going to give you some options of where I'd like you to go and preferably a JSTOR or you can also go through EBSCO. Uh, EBSCO. Um, so I know that I write a lot, but that's there's a reason why this and it's it's a little harder sometimes for me to give a lecture uh, without being in person. So I try and write everything down so that you can go back to it. OK, so go ahead and read through this and it's just going to give you some information on how to get the information from your Butte library. OK, I want you to find some information. This is some research that we're going to do. You have done research before. I know that because you've graduated high school. Maybe you've had other classes, but that being this, the case, go through here first so that way you can have a better understanding of why we have the midterm, which is just going to put all the information you gather from your source into um, a format. OK, so once you have an idea about how you would do um, uh, research and how you would find scholarly journals, then I'm going to have you take a look over here at putting the sources in MLA format. And the reason why that is, is this is going to help you figure out how to do the midterm. And you have the links and everything in your module, but I put it up here too from pages so that you can see. And it's really simple. When you went to your source and you found that information, you gathered who the author was. See the author down here. You, you gathered what the title of the work was, where it came from. Was there a volume number and a page number? And if you do a journally, a scholarly journal, yeah, you're going to have a volume number. But if you go through like a website on your second source summary, we'll talk about that later, you won't have that. So what I try and give you here is something that you can fill in the blanks to kind of give you a better understanding. So watch that video and this is going to help you pass that midterm. OK. All right. So we're going to go back again. Back to where we were at. Once you figure out how to put it into an MLA format, again, I give you all the videos, we're going to take a look at what a source summary is. And I will walk through that video in just a little bit to give you an idea. I do not have the video on this particular example, as you can see, but it gives you everything you're going to need for uh, the source summary. So first you did your research. OK, you found um, information. Then you have your MLA format, which puts it in a very specific order. And then you're going to have a source summary. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to summarize your source. OK, um, so it's really it's actually surprisingly easy. I give you all these pieces ahead of time um, so that you can have an idea. You might be going. I'm not sure where to start. And in fact, I help you with that ahead of time. So. Um, I give you this information, but what you're going to see is on week 10, we have what we call 
the wall of fame. Okay, and so the wall of fame is going to be where you will think of three topics that you'd like to write about. And you might be going, oh, I, I have no idea. This is too much for me. What I would like you to do is think of questions that you would like to answer. Okay, questions could be, um, you know, is climate change real? Science says yes. Science absolutely says yes. But it's important that if you're questioning it, maybe you don't believe it to be true and you feel you want to maybe argue that. If you can find the scholarly journals and the science that debunks it, well, there you've got a research uh, topic. So you are free to do that, um, even though you <laughs> probably know my opinion on the climate, um, but I absolutely totally accept that's okay. Um, so maybe you think, you know, how do we take care of our trash or our recycling? Obviously, when we throw something away, it doesn't just go away to nowhere. It goes away somewhere. And maybe you're questioning, you know, how can we fix this? How can we make it better? Is it possible? Can we get everybody on the same page? What would we need to do? And so these are questions you're thinking of. OK, um, that being said, uh, when we talk about the Wall of Fame, I'll give you an example and I'll walk you through that as well. But this is kind of our our walkthrough of that. OK, so it's going to start and I'm going to show you really quick how it starts and I'm going to give you the little pieces as we move forward. So in reality, our assignments go like this. Sorry, it's jumping on me here. The assignments to be turned in first starts with this wall of fame. These are the topics. These are the questions you want to ask. Right. Next, we start working on that source summary. What is it we want to know? All right. And then we actually put them in. Uh, we, we do our research right here, this MLA format, and then we put it all together. Um, it might seem like you jump around just a little tiny bit, but I have to kind of give you the preemptive, like what is it we're going to be getting into so that it makes sense to you when you do it. So the reason why I have the midterm here is so that you have a general idea of what you're looking at when you're doing your research, when you're citing your sources, and what a scholarly journal is going to look like. OK, so this is all in order for a reason. And again, I'm trying to give you as much as I can ahead of time so that when we get to these pieces, they make more sense to you. OK, so your midterm is really pretty much just putting everything in an MLA format. Um, I will give you again how to look for scholarly journals, because that's going to lead into our source summary. OK, so this information leads into um, also understanding if you know you have to do research here in the Wall of Fame, if you know you've got a question to ask and you have to look up, you know, scholarly journals, what topic would you consider? What do you want to answer? And for some of you, you want it to be simple, but it's not going to be a simple question. It's probably going to be something that's gray where, again, what do we do about the trash, the trash problem? There, we might not know, but maybe you might come up with some solutions. And this research project might provide more answers for society than you realize without without even trying because you're curious and you want to research some more. So um, there will be another video on uh, how to do Wall of Fame and all that stuff when we get there. Uh, but for now, this is just kind of a heads up of what to expect um, and how everything's going to flow. All right. So we're going to start with week nine and go down. Um, but if you have questions, go ahead and let me know. So far, everyone looks good and uh, we're good to go.